cancer diabetes treatment, Manjaro, and it's set to come out later this year. Pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly said ZepBound will be listed at over $1,000 for six doses or a six-week supply. But because it got federal approval, it means those with insurance can be able to afford it if they can find it. The FDA says there's still a shortage of the drug. And for more on this new medicine, Dr. Dan Azaguri, Associate Professor of Surgery at Stanford, joins us. And welcome, doctor. Can you tell us how ZepBound works and the evidence that proves that this works? Thank you, Nicole. Well, ZepBound, um, as you very well said, is the exact same drug as Monjaro. It's the same dose. It's said the only thing that changes is the name. Uh, so we've been using this drug for at least over a year now, and it works the same way as Wagovi does. It acts on your gut, and it gives signals that you're no longer hungry. It's been proved to be extremely effective in the trials that the company has done with over 5,000 patients, but also it's been used, as, as I mentioned, as Monjaro uh, on tens of thousands of patients over the past year. Okay, so then when it comes to the side effects, knowing that it has been around, I mean, it is a new medication. Some people would worry about taking it because it has different side effects. Are you seeing that? No. So as I said, it's the, it's the exact same medication as the one we've been using for the past year. And so from that perspective, there's really no surprise there. Uh, the family of drugs is the same as Wagovi, as Empic, the ones that you've heard about and that uh, you have spoken about over the past few years. This family of drugs has been around since 2014. So I don't think there's many surprises. Mainly the side effects are gonna be related to your gastrointestinal system, meaning nausea, vomiting, constipation. That's the main side effects that we see. Okay, so one thing that surprised me a lot was the price tag here, but there have been some reports that it's covered by insurance. Just tell me how that works. So the good news is it's actually a little bit cheaper than Wigovi. So we're still, you know, in a realm that is unaffordable to most of us. The uh, insurance coverage doesn't depend on the FDA. The FDA just says it's safe to use as a patient in the United States. The coverage by insurance is another problem. And unfortunately, we're not seeing that broadly covered yet. So don't be shocked if your insurance says we're not covering it. This is something that's bound to change over the next few months and years, but that's a battle that we still need to fight. Sure, and supply and demand could be an issue as well. Thank you so much for your insight this morning, Dr. Dan. Thank you for having me, Nicole.